Whether you have Achilles tendonitis or knee tendonitis, your tendons like to do this. They can bend a little bit, okay, left and right, they can do this. But once you start to kink it way too much over a long period of time, over months or years, that's when you start to develop the pain, the discomfort, the inflammation begins. And so we want to make sure that we have complete control over that tendon that's not going too far deep into this kinking, as I like to call it. So think about it. When we dance, there's a lot of pressure on one leg, okay? So, for example, here we go. Look at all the pressure that there's on one leg. Add a partner, an anticipated task. There's a lot of pressure and control that has to be put on that limb. So, a quick thing that you can try is to see how much control over your body you have. Just try bouncing on one leg. Look at yourself in the mirror or on the phone. Look at your hips. Put your hands on your hips if you want and see if you tip, see if you lean, see if your knee is moving all over the place. That lets you know that things are pretty balanced in control. Now, there are some caveats to this, which I get into in other videos, but test the left side, test the right side, see if there's a difference, if you twist, if you turn, if you tense up up here, get an idea of how much control you have. This is basic control. This is when you're walking throughout the day. This is when you're going grocery shopping, meeting up with a friend. So if you have trouble here, you're definitely gonna have trouble doing this type of stuff, okay? So the next step that you can do is also add a little bit of movement, a little bit more of a challenge that's more appropriate to what we do. Hands on your hips to kind of give an idea of where your, your, uh, the level of your hips and your elbows, gives you a sense of you're cheating or doing something. Balance, see if your hips dip or if you can't control that. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to do a small squat. Okay, you don't have to go very deep. Just do a small controlled squat, assess how much you're tipping, if you're tipping, if the knee is going all over the place, and you're gonna switch, do the same thing on the other side, do a small squat, okay. And you get an idea of the quality as well. Yes, you might be able to do this really well, and if you can tell even on my side, I have a little bit more control on the left side than I do on the right side. The right side I have to think a little bit harder, it gives a little bit more wobble. And so those are things you wanna self-assess maybe on a every three to four week basis, see where you're at. Maybe you, you know, you sat a lot that month or that week. Maybe uh, you, uh, you fell or you, you took a misstep and things can go out of whack. Just a, a way to self-assess yourself and see where things are at with your body to be prepared for all the demands that this wonderful art form and dance gives to us. All right, until next time, swing strong, take care.